Hi, this is Tony Mormino, and in this video, we're going to look at relative humidity versus dew point. And the purpose of this presentation is to kind of show you that relative humidity is really not a good measurement of how much water we have in the air, otherwise referred to as humidity. And dew point is a very accurate measurement of how much water we have in the air. And let's look at why that is. So let's say we had three volumes of air here and at different dry bulb temperatures. So at 55 degrees, we're going to represent this volume of air with this cylinder. As the temperature increases to 75 degrees, the volume of air increases, and so on to 95 degrees, the volume of air increases even more. Now, if we were to represent 50% RH in each of these cylinders or volumes of air, we would fill them up halfway with water. So here's the thing. They're all have a, they all have a RH, relative humidity of 50%. They all have the same value, but look at the amount of moisture in each of these cylinders. So it's greatly different, okay? So what that tells us is RH is a percentage of how much moisture is in the air versus how much it can hold, okay? It's not a good value to tell you the absolute amount of moisture in the air. Think of relative humidity as how full is the container, okay? When we look at dew point, let's say we took this first condition of RH of 50%, dry bulb of 55, and we calculated the dew point, which in this case is 37. We did the same for the other two containers. This dew point would be 55. This dew point would be 74. Okay. Now, as you can see, as the volume of water increases, our dew point increases. So the dew point here is an, a very accurate measure of how much physical water we have in the air, as opposed to the relative humidity. If we were to label these containers, one, two, and three, we'll go ahead and plot them on a psychrometric chart so you can get a better idea of, of why this is. So this is a psychrometric chart. If you're not very familiar with it, we'll probably do another presentation because it's uh, a lot of information going on here. But I'm going to make it very simple. We're going to plot the relative humidity of 50%, which is represented by this line we just put on here. Okay. Let's go in, draw in the three dry bulb lines that we have. 55 degrees, 75 degrees, and 95 degrees. And let's go ahead and plot the intersection of all this with our dew point lines, okay? Now, as you can see, the relative humidity is the same value for all these points. Oops, forgot to put the points on there. For all these three points have the same relative humidity, but the moisture content is vastly different from point one to three. So that's why dew point is a much better way to measure the actual humidity that's in the air. So who cares, right? Why is this important? It's important because if you want to accurately control humidity, then you have to accurately be able to measure humidity. So, okay, these slides that uh, you just looked at were taken from a presentation I put together some time ago called Why DX Systems Fail. Basically, been in the industry for about 20 years now. And, and what I've done is kind of summarize the, you know, the most common mistakes I see when people are specifying complex DX equipment, uh, similar to like an Aon product. And it's a really good presentation. If you want to see it, you can actually schedule lunch and learn with me right now. If you're watching this on YouTube and on your desktop, there's a little blue link below. Just click on it. It'll take you to a live calendar, which is synced up with my Outlook. And you'll see in blue the available dates. Pick a date, pick a time, put in your email, you'll get a confirmation. We'll coordinate with you the headcount. We'll bring lunch by. Of course, there's no charge at all. And uh, we really enjoy doing this. So if this is something you think you'd be interested in, please go ahead and schedule it. If you are watching this on your iPhone or your mobile phone, you have to click this little down arrow here to expose the link. And it's the same kind of situation. It takes you to a calendar. You can pick the date, pick the time, and you're all set. So again, we thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please let us know. We hope to see you soon. You, your project. In the world of commercial HVAC, we know that whether you design, construct, own, or maintain buildings, you need a partner committed to getting your project done right, on time and on budget. Welcome to your network of partners. Connecting more than 20 offices across the country, with over 500 associates working together, 
delivering the right HVAC solution for your project. One national network with one local purpose, your success. Because working together, we're stronger. Insight Partners.